What is going on everybody? Brent here, OUnitProductions.com and we are still on the road with the 2012 OUP Photography Tour. We are at the North Buchanan Riverfront Park here in North Buchanan, West Virginia. Um, just wanted to check back in here. It's been all over the place since I checked in last earlier this week. Got some really killer stuff. Just wanted to share it here with you guys. Um, Let's go ahead and just get right into the stuff. Some of this stuff is from here in West Virginia. Some of it is from Kentucky. Uh, a couple things from Tennessee and Ohio as well. Uh, let's go ahead and first off just get into some bottles. As I always talk about with you guys, bottles always do really well for me. And all of these are going to be coming split up between my three co-op booths. Uh, first off, we have a, a, a Choc Cola chocolate bottle or not chocolate, chocola cola bottle. And this one is from Indianapolis, Indiana. Really cool piece. Um, I don't know the exact price offhand for all these bottles. Uh, most of them I should be able to figure out when I'm going through it when I get home. But all of them are just a few dollars a piece. I think the, the most I paid was $5 for any of these bottles. Um, next up, we have a, a pop cola bottle. It says, it's real nice. Really cool advertising on that one. And I don't see any towns on this, so I'll have to do a little bit of research on that. Uh, Delaware Punch. Actually got two of the Delaware Punch bottles. Here you see the other one. Let me go ahead and put that beside. Um, I actually picked these up because I think not last time but the time before when we were in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware at uh, Dogfish Head eating or brewings and eats. Um, they have a huge Delaware Punch tin sign on the wall. Um, thought it was killer and so when I saw these bottles I had to pick them up. Only a few bucks a piece and in my booths in Pennsylvania, I should easily be able to get probably eight to ten bucks a piece on those. Um, next up, we have a Mr. Cola bottle. Uh, this is from Camden, Arkansas. It's marked Camden, Arkansas. I thought that was really cool. Next up, we have a big red bottle. And actually, while we were on the road, we stopped at a White Castle, and I was able to find out that I believe big red is absolutely disgusting. So, uh, cool bottle, disgusting soda. Uh, next up we have Taste Tea Beverages. Refreshing, satisfying. This is marked Bowling Green, Kentucky. Really cool advertising on that. And these two I actually just picked up. This right here is a Thirsty, or just Whistle. It's a Whistle bottle marked Clarksburg, West Virginia. It's got a little bit of damage on it, but I actually only paid three bucks on this. Can probably easily double my money at least on that. And this is the one that I probably paid the most money on. It's a Mountaineer Beverages. As you can see, marked Clarksburg, West Virginia. I paid $5 on that, but in one of my booths, I should be able to get probably 12 to 15 on this just because of the subject matter. And it was an off-brand of the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. And as I said, marked Clarksburg, West Virginia. All right, next thing we'll talk about here is these Laurel and Hardy figures. As you can see, they're not in the best shape. Uh, we got one missing the, the feet down here. Not they, they don't have any clothes. Not sure if this guy has his original arms or not. And if they are the original arms for him, he's, they're backwards on him, as you may be able to tell there. But I did a little bundle, so I got a good deal on these, which is why I picked them up. Let me go ahead and talk about that. The other part of that bundle was this right here, this uh, Pleasure Chest cooler. Much like the soda coolers that I usually buy, um, wasn't too sure about it. I didn't know if I wanted to get it at first. He was asking, I think, 30, 35 bucks. And I wasn't quite sure, but uh, my girlfriend brought up a little search and some similar to this were getting quite a good bit of bids. Some of them were up to as much as $70, $80. Not sure if it's the exact same size as this. I need to do a little bit more research when I get home, but I don't see any reason why I can't at least double my money on this from what I paid and get about 60. But anyway, the bundle that I got was this cooler and the Laurel and Hardy figures. I paid, uh, well it was supposed to be $40, but I actually only had $39 in cash on me at the time. So I gave him $39. Kind of a funny situation because he didn't seem like he really wanted to uh, take the, the bundle that I was throwing together. He pretty much thought that I was lowballing low -balling him, I assume. But um, he ended up going for it. So, you know, sometimes that happens. I mean, you know, I'm out to make as much money as possible, obviously. So he got what he needed, I got what I needed, and we will go from there. These Laurel and Hardys, like I said, not the best condition, but in one of my booths, I'm probably going to ask a minimum of about 20 bucks a piece for these. I'm thinking maybe 
20 to 30. I need to do a little bit more research on that. All right, now we're getting into uh, some of the better stuff here. First off, uh, this I thought was really, really cool. This came from probably one of my best picks on this trip so far. It was in, uh, I forget the exact name of the city offhand. Um, maybe I'll put a uh, annotation in this video, but nonetheless, as you see, it looks like a Prince Albert sign, but it is not a Prince Albert sign. This is actually an on-cut sheet of the Prince Albert cans. Really, really cool. I've actually never seen one of these. Um, I have a really, really good feeling about this. I paid less than $40, I think between $35 and $37.50. Um, it's actually marked up here $36. And I haven't really looked it up yet. I'm not even sure if there's going to be anything like this online to look up. But I don't see any reason why I can't get probably around... 75 to 100 dollars on this maybe a little bit more i suppose we'll see uh, but i thought that was absolutely killer definitely one of my favorite picks so far and let's go ahead and get to the last few things here this right here also came from the uh same pick and actually i believe it was cave city uh i can't remember what state offhand cave city somewhere i believe it was kentucky cave city kentucky if I'm wrong, I apologize. But anyway, this came from the same pick as the Prince Albert on-cut sheet. Uh, this is also an on-cut sheet of these buttons right here. The buttons were only three for a dollar. Uh, so I picked up three of these just to show what this came from. And this sheet was actually only marked $10. Uh, as you can see, it's not in the best condition. It's uh, nicely bent, beat up, beat on corners. But I mean, it's absolutely awesome I mean you just don't find stuff like this and especially where I'm from in Pennsylvania and the fact that I got two on cut sheets I think they're both gonna do really well uh, as far as price value on this I'm not exactly sure till I do some research but I don't see why I couldn't get at least fifty dollars on this and what I'm thinking of doing actually is when I list this online bundling the on cut sheet here with the three buttons just so people can get an idea of you know what this originally was because honestly I've never even seen these buttons before but I just thought it was a really really unique piece and last but not least this is probably my favorite pick of the trip so far I literally just picked this up probably about I don't know two well I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying two for but probably about 20 to 30 minutes ago here in Buchanan uh, West Virginia uh, this came from a co-op that we just happened to come across we stopped at a different co-op first off, and as always, we looked at the, the rack where they have the different advertisements for local co-ops, and there happened to be an advertisement for this co-op. So we uh, went ahead and found it, couldn't find it in the GPS at first, but we, or we, we uh, ended up coming across it after some um, interesting times trying to find it. But, as I said, this was in there. as. There was a lot of that killer advertising stuff in this co-op, but to me, this was the best piece. Pretty much as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it, but I tried to uh, get the best price on it. It was marked $97.50. I uh, got a better deal. Originally, he took $10 off, but then I tried to get it down to $80, and he came back. Finally, he said the best he could do was $85, so I scored it for $85. Haven't looked it up yet, but I've never seen one of these. Um, I love the little faces that are on the bottles. I love the condition of it. I love the font. I love the size. Just a killer piece of advertising. This is definitely going to be an eBay item when I get back to town. And I don't see any reason why I probably won't at least double my money on this. I don't think, um, you know, $170 or so is out of the question. It might even go up as much as $200. I guess we'll see. At the very least, I would probably say $125. So a nice little score there. So that is what is going on. Some killer advertising pieces, some really cool, obscure, Laurel and Hardy figures. Lots of killer bottles for the co-ops, the, uh, the chest. And actually, I forgot something, which is a good thing that I uh, did a little pan at the end. So we'll go ahead and talk about that here real quick. This came from another little shop. Um, I believe it was in Kentucky. Uh, maybe it was Tennessee. Not exactly sure offhand. But... This is actually the first Coke cap that I've, ev I've ever bought. I've had some Pepsi tops, some, uh, some of the lid signs, seen tons of Coke caps, but I've never came across one that I thought was a good deal. But this was that for me, so I picked it up. It was actually only marked $40 in this booth that I was at. And uh, 
I ended up talking the guy down to $35. Well, I asked him what, what the best he could do was, and he said $35. I thought that was fair, and I don't see any reason why I can't at least double my money and probably get uh, between $75 and $100. I think $100 is a little bit on the high end, but I think $75 is more likely. If I were to move it fast, I would think it would be able to move at least you know, $60, $65. So killer score there. Lots of killer advertising. Just curious what you guys think. What is your favorite item featured in this episode? How have you guys been? Um, we're getting ready to head through the rest of West Virginia, through Virginia, and then we are going to Rehoboth Beach and Dover, Delaware. Won't be doing a lot of picking there as it's mainly going to be just laying on the beach, enjoying the casino, enjoying the sun, enjoying my girlfriend's birthday, having a blast, and getting ready to get back to the office and hustle all this stuff out so we can do it all over again. All right, thank you guys for watching. Check out OUPPhotographyTour.com as well as my girlfriend's site, aladiesperspective.com, and of course, OUnitProductions.com. Still tons of live streams to come this week, all the rest of the month, leading up until the 31st, the last day of the 2012 OUP Photography Tour. I will check back here on YouTube soon. And if you would like some more exclusive news and videos and links, check out facebook.com slash Productions. I will see you soon. Have a great day. And I will leave you with a view of Buchanan, West Virginia.